What's up guys, George is here. So today I'm gonna make some particle emitter. So today will be just a um, fun tutorial that I made. So I will not make something uh, complicated. So this is will be beginner friendly for a blender and it will be fun also. And you can also make it uh, animation for it. And also you can make it everything that you want. But today I will just uh, show you how to using emitter particles using here. So if you don't know where is the particles emitter, you can go to the particles, which is this button. And after that, you can click this icon plus, but before that, have to click this one first. And after that, just click this button and you can see this is emitter and this is hair. And I always using hair in the few video that I made for the tutorial, but now we can learn about the emitter. And also if you want to have file exactly like that, you can join to be my Patreon link down below. And also you can click link on my Gumroad. And don't forget to follow my Instagram Arkamax link down below. And before continue to this tutorial video, feel free to subscribe and Georgia here. Let's go move into this tutorial video. All right, so guys, now first thing first that we have to do here, I'm gonna delete all of this and um, click X. Sip A, we're gonna using just a uh, torus and here we have some torus but here we'll, for the torus I will just using around like mm, at least 50 and here will be just 50, just simple one, not a lot of things that we have. So just set auto smooth for make it look smooth than before. And if you already did that, let's go move into the modifier. After go move into the modifier, let's go move to generate. We will add some subdivision surface. So here just keep it like this and I'm gonna add some simple deworm. Add some simple deworm, put the simple deworm in the up here. And then after that just here, just we can play with the number here for the angle and also for the axis Y. And then we can using like X, Y, Z like here. But here we can put it like 360. You can click, uh, sorry, you can screenshot this uh, layer here so you can follow this layer so if you already do that we can hiding all of this just like that and after that we can bring back the subdivision and we can uh, and we have to check it first how much that we can using here all right at least we can try to five if it can be working or not all right it's here now it looks working looks good now and we can take it back into three and for the render we can keep it into five all right so guys now after this we will add some icosphere. In this icosphere, I'm gonna subdivide four into four. So we can see this is uh, more smooth than before. And after this, set auto smooth. Just make it this icosphere more smaller, at least like uh, like a little bit like that. Even it's touching to the to this body, we can try to make it a little bit bigger and make it a little bit smaller for this icosphere. So if you already do that, let's go duplicate this icosphere by clicking Shift D and then just make it more smaller and grab it into the X side here into beside this object. So if you already do that, let's go move into this setting and I'm gonna using this area vertical split. So here, um, I'm gonna try to put it there. All right, at least here. And after that, we can using some uh, viewport. All right, here we can go into the shader editor. We can change in here and um, click this object, which is torus. And after that, click new material. After, after click that, zip A, we're gonna add some color ramp and the color ramp was here. So zip A again, I'm gonna add some noise texture and I'm gonna add must grab texture. All right, so I'm gonna put there and connect must grab into the vector and connect this uh, noise texture into the color ramp and color into the best color and also color into the to, into the roughness. And if you already have something like that, we can try to duplicate this. Just put it there first and we can try to working with must grab and noise texture. So here, if you see, we have around 5,000 for the uh, noise texture. And also for the mouse grip texture, we have around 5,000. And we have to bring the lower one because I think if we are using around 5,000, it's kind of too much. And we can try to bring down into like, um, for the noise texture, we can using 3,000. And for the mouse grip texture, we can using just like 2,000. And for this detail, we can using five. And for this detail, so we can using five. 
All right, so now you can see the difference now. This is a little bit looks like more smoother than before. Sip A, we're gonna add some bump. So we have bump here and we have to move it this a little bit far away. So we can put, uh, put this bump in the up here and connect this color into the edge. And after that, this normal into the normal and connect this noise texture uh, for the fact connect into the color ramp. <clears throat> So if you see now, we have more bumpy uh, material, but we can fix it this because this is kind of too much and doesn't looks good at all. So we have to fix it. How to do that? All right. To fix it like this, it's kind of easy because you just need to move it this black color into the right side. Now you can see, and we just need something a little bit, a little bit texture here, something like that see this is kind of looks better than before and we can using this and we can put this range just a little bit down lower just like in half 500 or something like that was okay and after that if you are doing that already we can move it into principal bsdf and we can bring up for the metallic all right so we can have it something like that and now looks better more looks good also and here for the color ram, I want to play with the little bit color here because if white like that doesn't look very good. But here we can try to put the black color a little bit into the right side for make it this um, this object looks a little bit interesting. All right, so guys, now if you already have uh, something like that, let's go add some camera by clicking Shift A, and I have camera now. But here, if you are uh, using keyboard, you can click. Control Alt and zero. Easy, so the camera will follow where you are now. All right, so I'm gonna put the, uh, the design looks like this and don't forget to save your file, guys. All right, now if you already have uh, some object like that and I'm gonna try to duplicate this one. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I mean, I will using this uh, material. So we have this material now, same as like this one. But in this side, I'm gonna using different color, which is I want to using like gold or yellow something like this all right now you can see the different than before and now will be looks amazing and after that just click this one also using the second material that we have it here all right so guys now let's go move into the v6 click this object first and now go to the farical and click this icon plus and just wait a few seconds maybe sometimes just need to counting about that and here if you see frame start and frame uh frame and just changing from 200 into just one so just will be like that if you see it and now if you go down you can find render and here render as changing into object after changing into the object now you can using the object as all right so if you already changing into the object now you can click here and we can using this object here all right just ico spear we have it here now it's appear in the app there and after that, just scale randomness into 1000. And here for the scale, I will using just like 0.5. And now uh, we can move it here. So you can also using this number. Numbers is it like for increase how many balls that you want to have it here. But here I won't try to using around like 2000. So we can click here in 2000 and let's go try to going down again to the scale. And we can also try into 1000. How it looks like. So this is looks like this. This is kind of too much, but I will not using something like that. We can try to bring down into like four in three. All right. So now if you already have something like that, let's get at some background by clicking Shift A. We will using some plan. And here we have some plan. We can rotate this by clicking RX 90. And after that, we, we have to see where is the camera. So the camera was here. We have to bring back here into the uh, into behind of the uh, main object. So if you already do that, let's go move into the light that we want to using. Go to the viewport settings, and this is still uh, dark, and we are on EV still. So before that, we have to go into the render. We have to changing from uh, EV into cycles, and if you have GPU, you have to use GPU because it's helping so much. So here I will just using around 10, and if you go down, you can find the max sample for the render, and for here I will use using around 500. And it can be a little bit better also for this uh for the quality of the picture that you want to render 
all right now we can see from this uh viewport setting and now looks cool but this is very small we can try to make it better uh bigger i mean but here i just wanted something very small and we can change it later or you can do some experiment than i did here all right so guys now we can add some light this is doesn't uh doesn't look good because this is still dark and now let's get add some uh some some light by clicking ship a and then go down you can find the light here just add some area just put the area up there and here will be just a little bit uh more bright we can try to put into 1000 how it looks like all right 1000 this is looks good but i think this is a little bit dark here we can try into 3000 oops sorry uh into 3000 so we'll be more a little bit the uh i mean bright all right so now i'm gonna add some another light but now i'm gonna add some spot spot we can put it there we can try to put it here bring into the front of this object we can try to uh shoot from uh just take it from here shooting here so we can have it the the color uh sorry the light here and then we can put just only this side which is here so we can try to increase this one into 1000 and let's see how how will work about this or maybe take it more so now we can see because about this this light was very bright so this light doesn't looks good now when we are wants to render it this icosphere the small icosphere will be touching this the main object so how to fix it it was very easy first thing first that you have to do just max instance real just click this one wait a few seconds while they are counting and after that you can delete this and now that's all and if you are and if you see this is the object from here it looks like touching this object but when we are see very close this object doesn't touching the main object all right so it's like that and now we can see the result all right so guys now tutorial for today it's done it's really easy to make it something like this and if you have some question you can um sending message to my instagram arcomex link down below or you can put your comment down below and by the way uh if you want to have file exactly like this you can join to be my patron link on description and also you can click link on my gumroad you can find this one very easy also and by the way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Georgia is here. See you in the next video. Ciao.